Hey guys, Thunder E here, and this series is to help you find the best wireless buds from month to month. So in the month of January, this video will show you the best ones to look at. Now we're gonna start off from an increasing uh, quality order, and uh, the first air uh, true wireless buds are the uh, iFrogs Airtime Sports. Now they come in this case, it's a rather large case, but it is really light. The cool thing about this is that, of course, uh, it's got USB type C. They're easy to go ahead and hook around your ears and wear, so which means they will not fall off, which is nice. So you've got that there, and you've got also really good fits because it does have um, you know, some really nice ear tips. Now, the other thing too is the controls, simple touch controls, tap uh, to pause and play, double tap on the right to skip right, double tap on the left to skip left, press and hold down the left is volume down, press and hold down the right is volume up. So you have those features built in. You also have wireless charging built into the case. Now in total battery time, you've got about 25 hours with the case. You've got also about five hours of playback with the earbuds themselves. Audio quality, the highs are good, the mids and lows not so much. So you don't want to crack the volume because you're gonna get a lot of that ruffle in the bass at the bottom. But it's really good for working out and it's not too expensive. So something cost effective, really focused on the gym, this will actually work well for you. So next up are the TCL Sokol 500 True Wireless Buds come in this kind of see-through case. There are a couple of different colors, funky colors to pick from about four. Price is $79.99. Uh, now, what I like about these is that they are really, really light. Uh, when you put them in your ears, they feel comfortable and they also have a really good fit. Uh, they've got touch controls and either ear cup, so you can either pause, play, or skip tracks. And in terms of battery life, you're looking at 6.5 hours each, each. Uh, with of course the true wireless buds. Now with the case, it's 26 hours, so an hour extra more here, uh, and you get uh, an hour of charge, uh, an hour of use with 15 minutes charging, so that's also good. Now audio quality is actually good. It's got a decent overall sound, nothing too crazy. Uh, the lows don't expand too much, but uh, the highs are good, the mids are manageable. I would say overall really, really good sound signature for its price point. Now the other thing of course is the microphone. The microphone actually on this works pretty well. I do like the microphone quality. I think it's clear and it's very crisp, of course, for conversations. Now, next up are the Hip Touch Pros. Now, if you guys checked out my video earlier this month, I showcased them against the, of course, the AirPods Pro. What I like about them, it comes also in black, first of all. And you know, you can have it, of course, in your Spider-Man case, it really doesn't matter. Uh, but it comes in a different color. Uh, so audio quality is literally similar to what you have with the AirPods Pro. So you're getting the same audio quality. Uh, also, the fit feels a little bit much better in your ears when you're using them, so it doesn't feel like they gonna fall off or anything like that. Uh, you also have touch uh, controls for the buttons. Uh, so you can of course go back or forth and you do have wireless charging built into the case as well. So you've got all that functionality. Now the microphone uh, itself is actually pretty good. Uh, surprisingly, it does a really good job with mic quality. Maybe not as good as the AirPods Pro, but still good enough. Uh, there is no active noise cancellation, but it is. it does have a really good seal and the noise isolation is solid for what you're getting. Only $89.99. Uh, if you're looking for an AirPod alternative that will work with your Android and iOS devices, then the Hip Touch Pro is something to use. So next up are the LG Tone Free True Wireless Buds. I kind of like them and I have a little annoyance with them. So with the LG here, it's got a round circular case, USB Type-C. All the headphones you see here have USB Type-C port support. Uh, and when you open them up, uh, you've, of course you're exposed to these uh, yeah, true wireless buds here. What's cool about the case is that it's got a UV light so it helps kill bacteria when you put them back in the case. That's something that's really cool. Now these are semi-open back earbuds so when you take them out and you actually put them on, uh, you can still hear everything around you. Now, controls on this are tap to touch play. Uh, the best way to use most of the functionality is with, of course, Google Assistant and setting that up, which will allow you to play and pause your music, uh, skip tracks, pick up playlists, all that stuff. It works really well with them when you actually use it. Now, the audio quality is good, but because it's open back, uh, you're going to be faced with a situation where if you're using them in a less quiet, a quiet location, or maybe you're at home, or maybe in a study, it works really well. 
If you're on the train, forget about it. If you're out there on the road, it's gonna be a lot of noise that will drown and you have to crank the volume up. They do fit well in the air, even though it feels like it's about to fall off and they've got a couple of tips that you can use to actually uh, get the right fit. I like the microphone on them. Uh, I will say though on, if you're using them with Facebook Messenger, not as clear as I would like, I don't know why, but in general, the microphone is actually pretty good on them. Uh, I'll say overall, audio quality is really solid nice highs uh, the mids are not too uh, not too you know not too broad the lows are good but again it's open back so that's just something you have to deal with some other features you find is that it's got fast charging five minutes of charge gives you one hour of use better than anybody else out there and it's really comfortable and really fits well so the true tone wireless which retail for about 199 dollars are a bit of a mixed bag but they have some really cool benefits especially when you're using the microphone and also you're listening in a or less noisy environment so our next pair are the me 407s if you know me for well we covered the Mi 405s, great battery life, 100 hours of the case. This, however, has 21 hours, but it is a nice small case, quite portable. USB Type-C charging as well, and also just the finish looks really nice. Now, Mi 4 has done really, really good job at it. Uh, now, pricing is varied from place to place. I've seen it as low as $84, and I've also seen it all the way up to about $179. These are really good uh, true wireless buds. They're very small in size, so they fit in your ear quite well, and they're not really you know intrusive or extrusive, if you will. Uh, they've also got a nice seal to them, uh, and you've got some nice, simple touch controls that work well. Uh, these also have Bluetooth 5.0 with Qualcomm's Aptex chipset for microphones, and the microphone quality is actually pretty good. Uh, the, you know, some balanced uh, stereo amateur drivers, and the audio quality is quite good, especially if you're paying $100 for this. You're looking at something that has some really good highs, some solid mids, and decent lows to give you a really robust sound. The highs, though, it kind of streak a little bit, so if you're listening to something with high vocals, it might tend to feel pierced and also just a little bit crowded. But the sound quality, I think, is worth it, especially if you're paying about $84 to $100 for these. <laughs> definitely a lovely pick. Now my final pair are the Jabra Elite 75T. I know they came out a month ago, but they are something that I think a lot of people will definitely like. A nice light case, very portable, and also the earbuds are really light and they fit really well. They've got a ton of features built into them. So you've got passive noise uh, cancellation, so it's not active, uh, but the seal is really nice and it's got a pass-through feature which you can tap on your left ear cup. The right ear cup is for play and plus functionality. The speakers are six millimeter drivers. You've got wind noise reduction, especially for the microphones. And the microphones actually are good on these, especially when you're using it for conversations. Now, the other thing too, it's got really good battery life. You've got 28 hours with the case and you've got 7.5 hours with these earbuds themselves. So when you're listening to music, you know, like you really uh, can't spend a lot of time. And speaking of audio quality, uh, the audio quality in these are good. They are really, really nice, especially the fact that you can play around with the EQs and some of the settings within the application to give you the kind of uh, audio mix that you're looking for. So the preset EQs, this customizable EQs as well. Uh, you also have the ability to uh, play some ocean sounds, you know, and things like that while you're reading or you're in a quiet uh, location. Uh, and again, you've got the ability to turn on and on and off that pass-through feature. You know, priced at about $179, uh, these are a very good pair of true wireless buds. Now, they are not active point noise cancellation, so if you're using them on the subway, you still will hear the subway and the plain sounds. Uh, not, of course, as, uh, as aggressive as true active noise cancellation, but they sound good. So guys, there you have it. Those are some of the best true wireless buds you can check out this month. They are different levels, different types, and different prices. If you wanna pick any of them up, use the links down below. And if you like this video, let me know what you think. I'm gonna be doing another uh, version for February next month to give you an idea of the true wireless buds that came out uh, that month. And if there's some that I really like and say you should still pick up, definitely I'll recommend them for you. Till next time, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.